release a series of cartoons that triggered a cyber stalking investigation. The cartoons mock Renton police officers, but are they protected by the First Amendment? King Faisal Alyssa Han has reaction from both sides of the controversy. The cartoons air a lot of dirty laundry in the Renton Police Department. Some parts are based on actual investigations and internal affairs. But the police chief says a lot of it is rumor and exaggeration. And he says the employees that are targeted feel humiliated. I had sex on duty with a worker from IHOP while in my uniform. The cartoons portray a number of Renton police officers, administrators, and former city workers not in a good light. I am trying to be promoted, but I'm having a hard time getting high enough on the list. If you want to get on the fast track, you can have a collision in your patrol car while having sexual relations with someone from crime prevention. The problem is the characters are too close to real people, and some of the scenarios parody real incidents investigated by internal affairs. If you were offered sex at a party by someone that is not your wife, and your wife is at the party too, don't get into a closet with her. The Renton police chief calls it cyberstalking. We ran the facts of this case by our prosecutor, and they supported the information that met the definition of a crime, and were able to obtain a search warrant based on that information. It was signed by a judge. That's really not the way the cyberstalking law should be used. The ACLU says posting the cartoons could be a personnel issue for the city, but not a crime. In general, you have a right to post parodies on the internet, including ones that some people find very offensive. As police serve search warrants to find the cartoon's creator, the cartoons even make fun of the investigation. I am here to question you on allegations that you have uploaded anonymous videos to the Internet. Do I need a lawyer? Of course not. The chief believes the creator is an employee or someone with close ties to the police department. It's time for the time for Walker. The other is in his hands. And the right squad, the restless, they need somewhere to go. This lady and I look out tonight on Desolation Road.